Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with a, another episode on. You stay over there. Uh, Sparked all fine. Just look it up. I think that pretty much translates to dwarf home, right? Or dwarf land. Okay, yeah, no, I was wrong. Uh, Zwart Alfheim is the home of the uh, Dark Elves. Huh, you're still around, huh? Uh, but I need to get some metal, so we're taking our new Parasaur out. He's actually really good at harvesting berries. I was actually... I, I kind of figured, but... Uh, Better than the, the Centau, so. Go, that's not harvestable, is it? No, okay. This is all shrapnel now, okay. So do we have, eh, it's far enough away that I should probably go ahead and move this. All right. Uh, but I'm about 49 metal short for making something I really want to. And we've got that uh, young Tyrannosaur over there, the level 145. If I remember correctly, they only tame up with kibble. You can't use mutton on them regardless of what it says. And it turns out the Parasaur actually does a pretty decent amount of damage too. I'll have to look up again at the... Uh, Oh, is a Paleo Arc Legends uh, mod page, and see like okay, exactly what changes you know were in effect here. There you go. Okay, incoming. Okay, yeah, there's a Rex over there. Uh, let's go ahead and get one more of these. I see you over there. Okay. I actually am in the market for a large predator right now. Because uh, I would like to go hunting for the uh, berserk raptors that I've seen. I'm not sure if there's any more or not. One thing I noticed, though, is on this map here, you can see at the top, basically true north of this direction, it's where the, uh, the exploration kind of stops up along the coast there. There's a world border there. So that's as far up as the map has been uh, worked on so far, looks like. So I have to keep an eye out for updates on this this uh, map here. Yeah, one downside is this Parasaur is definitely slower, though. Okay, C is still the, uh, the roar. Really? What's that about? It's weird. Uh, X is some sort of attack on cooldown. Or well, that has a cooldown. And it looks almost like it's a, uh, a head bat, you know, out of the way. Oh, also I tamed a Fjordhawk by accident. Yeah, that's weird. It's got a Pretty decent cooldown too. Yeah, no, I think it's probably like a pushback attack or something. Here, let me get that uh, pure gold out of you. There we go. There we go, and then we'll just pull the metal. I can't pull the uh, pure gold, unfortunately. But it's lighting up weight that uh, that's not really a problem. So. There we go. Somebody upstairs is a noisy eater, and that's actually why I need the metal. Not to, you know, feed said creature, but uh, so I can get a saddle going. Uh, I tame myself a baby Zuni, and I've been racing in the top of the tower. Um, yeah, well, it's wandered all the way over there now, so we're probably good. And 
There you go. Here, give me everything but the stone and thatch. I've had to make a third storage box and I've already run out of room, so. Yo, are you done making? Nope. You're still crafting. Okay. All right, so I need, I think it was 200 metal ingots for the, uh, the Zuni saddle that I want. Which is the reinforced one and pretty sure I don't have any metal stash around anywhere else. It's all on my forge. There's been a stupid amount of drops coming down, by the way. Yellows, reds, a couple purples, but uh, got a 95 armor Anki saddle, which awesome. I don't have an Anki, but cool. Got an assault rifle, which if I had the kibble, I would be trying to tame up that young Chwanosaur already. Got a Chally saddle. We got Donica saddle. So hopefully I find a nest for them, I guess. Uh, we got 192% uh, simple pistol. It takes 700 metal, though. And then we got a, a, a Thalicolio saddle blueprint already, too. Where did that young Chwano go? Kind of want to keep an eye on him. All right, cool. We have enough metal now. And this one. There we go. Start making our way upstairs here. There we go. Awesome. Should try painting that sometime. Uh, I got a, myself a cooking pot and the cooking station from Pam's here. And I don't know where, but I did find some sap. I think it was from one of the random trees. I'm not sure. But I need to find it again because well, I've got moss chops. So I can get a pretty good amount of the eggs for superior kibble. <laughs> Zuni is now my fastest creature. Go figure, right? And with the metal saddle, you can actually harvest stone, which is awesome. Well, granted, you harvest more flint than stone, but... Definitely come in handy for, like, spark powder gathering. Uh, let's see, what'd you come out with? 568 weight, okay. 6,000 health. 840 stamina, okay. 575, that's not bad. Go ahead and give, thank you. I'm thinking about taking my Zuni down into the, uh, the aberration area, actually. Just for fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're good as is. It's all right. We splash. It's a very gentle splash for a dinosaur weighing this much, falling at you know probably close to terminal velocity. It was like a very gentle little splash sound. Um. Okay, let's get you up to 10k health, I think. 1,000 stamina is probably pretty good. Well, start working on your weight for now. And... Yeah, definitely a lot quicker to make... or making my way through these caves now. And let's see. Yeah, okay, let's hit up some bushes real quick here. That way my Zuni's got something to eat here. Probably, you know what? I'm going to keep the aquatics on hand. 
Because there's bell dogs spawning on the surface around here, so I imagine they will be spawning down here as well. Here, let me grab some of that, some of that, and let's make another torch. One that I can mount to the saddle of my Zuni. Uh, you. Oh, now, ah, dang it, it's doing its thing where it's like, nope, you can't force pull. Uh, let's see, you go here to there. There we go. There we go. And right click with these guys can actually harvest uh, corpses, I guess would be the best way of putting it. Wow, that really slowed you down, didn't it? You do have weight reduction on the metal, so. Huh, there's another Aberrant Zuni over there. Level 15. Okay, cool. It does actually have a pathway down. Nice. All those creatures in here than was the last time I poked my head down here. Oh, I wonder. I've never tried this. Okay, yeah, you harvest a pretty good amount of honey. Now, where's the way down from here, though, right? Do we maybe go across here and then down? Maybe? Now, I do need to be careful because on the surface I did get attacked by a uh, aberrant postasukas. So they do spawn down here. And they are uh, somewhat aggressive. Dallos and raptors and stigmalocks and everything, huh? I just heard a scorpion. Alright, let's see. Wow, okay, they're attacking that Saltasaur. Like, everything is just piled in on it. Damn. Let me drop like that. Look at this it just blocks up. Wow, they killed the Saltasaur. I didn't think that would be a thing they could do. I should have tried taming that spider, actually, or a scorpion. Thyomia. All right. Um, maybe over this way I can get down. Like, I can easily get down, but uh, it's the getting back up part I'm worried about. Uh, problem with attacking with Zunis is you harvest everything in the area.
Hey, look at that. Hey, little guy. I did not tell you to auto harvesting it. <laughs> You're just angry at the world, aren't you? All right, and not sure where to go from here, though. Uh, let's see. Right, there we go. I don't know why I always have to redo my uh, the binding for the left parenthesis. Like, right stays on hide hat without a problem, but left... Keeps resetting to nothing from a uh, clap. Oh, there's the the dead saltosaurus. You're just spinning your wheels there, Fiamia. Man, the uh, Zuni's doing close to the same damage my uh, Smilodon does now. Yeah, I think I've run out of a uh, pathway over here. Oh, we got ourselves a bulb dog, though. Oh, it's a roll rat. Okay, I'm like, what the hell is making that noise? Uh. All right, time to... Oh, well, hello, bear. Yeah, 135. That, the fact there's the honey back where we came in at, I mean, that can work out pretty good. Uh, it's kind of a pain trying to tame a dire bear, though, with uh, arrows. It's a high torpor, low health. Which is really odd, because, you know, you would not think that a bear would normally have low health. But, uh, you know, there you are. Okay, there's our honey again. And, yeah, this just dead ends over here. Okay. Hey, look, it's a beaver. Missed him. There you are. And... It's possible to get over there without a zip line, maybe? Probably. Oh, look, there's another beaver. Level 50, huh? And, yep, there's a zip line. Or the, the vine, or what do you want to call it? But yeah. So, huh, look at you. I guess let's go back up to the surface at this point. Um, I'm not seeing a, uh, a good pathway down right now. Uh, 
but I kind of get the feeling that there's going to be multiple entrances to this place. So, hey you. Oh, you're a max level. I gotta tame you. Come on here. Can't say no to that. I got distracted. <laughs> Tamed up the uh, 150 bulb dog, and then a 130 iguandon basically walked right on my face. So it's like, okay. I kind of wanted iguandon to run around with anyway. So I was like, yeah, 130 is pretty good level. And bolas down here work a little odd. There's a fjord hawk in the cave. How did you get down here, you little stinker? That's the one I was taming earlier. It followed me in here. How? By taming, I mean it ate a corpse. But I mean... They just disintegrate in midair. At least they did until I got over here. And I managed to pull that thing. But I mean, they just... It's nothing. Let's see, I haven't trilobite down there, huh? Okay, you're gonna take thirty-five majors. Yeah, you're gonna be down a while. Just a couple of cervix onto you, I guess. Not like you really need it, but guadons tame up really easy. go. Let's get that stuff out of the way. Don't really need all of this. And or that really. All right. We'll go ahead and uh, grab some mushrooms though. So. Yeah, that's probably good for mushrooms for now. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot less uh, lively down here, though. I think everything teleported to the surface is what happened. It's a regular Meganura. That is a baby Zuni there. Alright, well, you get a level. I've had a level. Make sure our bulb dog's got some food, and we're gonna up your charge capacity. There it goes. Are you also the level? Yeah. You're a bad parent. <laughs> uh, you're a bad parent and just phases through the floor. Okay. Thank you for proving my point. Is there something behind the waterfall? No, not quite. Okay. And, yeah, there's like nothing down here now. I think everything's on the surface. Where did I see that trilobite at, though? <laughs> oh, well. Not too concerned about it. Do 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 do. Oh, 
You absolute ass. First Ravager I've seen down here comes down to kill the Iguana while I'm taming. <sighs> you jerk. Alright. So, downside is from here to get back up to my base on foot. Oh, cave down there too. There we go. Uh, but yeah, to get back to my base, uh, well, base of operations on foot. Yeah. <laughs> Could go a long way around. Is it nighttime? And so, why the hell is it so bright here? Or is it doing... It's doing lighting glitch, isn't it? It's 4 a.m. This is base gamma. Okay, yeah, damn, it's bright. There it goes. Yeah. I wonder. Try and clam down here, right? Yep. Silica pearls from the uh, the giant clams. Hello, salmon. Oh, there's another one over here. It's really odd, though. Like, the only hostile water creatures I've seen so far are Piranha and Sarkos. That was the lamest jump ever. Uh, yeah, I well, basically water creatures at all. I mean, we get the, the three types of fish and Sarkos and... Uh, well, otters, I guess, would be a water creature kind, right? So, if we look on the map, right? This little island down this way. So I'm pretty sure that is beyond the map border. At least for now. I'm not sure if the map's going to get bigger or not. But. Wow, that just really weighed us down a bit, didn't it? It's a lot of prime meat. There we go. Hmm. Just thinking I should probably go ahead and get a canoe and uh, head on over and see what I can find. Now, this is the dead end, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Dang it, I gotta go further. Get back here, and there's a red drop sitting right outside of my place. Okay, I guess I gotta tame a roll rat then. Huh. Megalania saddle too. Haven't seen them yet. But, uh. I've been wanting a wood gatherer anyway. <laughs> and there's just honey everywhere around here, so. Yeah, I guess we're getting a roll rat. All right, here we go. Let's pull, uh, not tento berries, wood. 
say 100. Raw prime meat, 242 in that, in my Zuni. Get that stuff cooking up. Still haven't started using that. I've got my Nymongs too. I haven't started using them either. Um, let's get the shrooms out of here. 81 armor roll rat though. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, I need to get a proper setup going here, don't I? Get some spark powder made up though. Yeah, I have basically like no storage right now whatsoever. Do I have any extra stone just laying around? Uh, yeah, actually, we got quite a bit. Cool. Uh, let's see how much honey's left in here. Eh, good amount. You know what? Just take the zuni out. We'll go harvest some real quick. And we'll see if that. I was like a level 130 roll rat. Let's see if that one's still around. There's that Rex. Hey, no, you leave my sheep alone. I just killed that Ovis, dang it. Well, we uh, slot capped ourselves on mutton and prime, apparently, because we still had a bunch of that left. I do love the little level of animation. All right. Uh, honey was just a bit over this way, was it? Yeah, it's right here. That's probably good enough, right? Uh, rest in peace, high level Avas. Not like I haven't seen a ton of them wandering around, though. Um, hmm. Probably hang out here for a while though. And get some of this stuff cooked up. Yeah, we've already cooked up 48 of that raw prime, so. Alright, so I don't think this is the same one we saw before. I think the other one was 130, was it? But uh, I'll take it. And should be down to one last honey, and it'll be uh, tamed up. And I saw... Oh, wait. There we go. Hey, uh, there's a Dodecarus right over here. Level 50, so. I got a stone harvester now. Got a wood harvester, and now, I mean, I got a metal harvester, I should say. Now I need a stone harvester.
Now, I need to be careful because my Zuni's on neutral right now, so if I let this thing hit me once, my Zuni's going to come rushing in to try and save me, and I uh, don't particularly want that. Should start Torpor running here soon, though. There it goes, and... Should be the last one. There it goes. Get the arrows back anyway, and... Do we have any measures on you? Got a lot of honey? Yeah, we do, okay. Yeah, there's so much honey around. Alright, awesome. So... Low health. High food. Okay. It'll work. Let's see if C is your... Yeah. Like, tail spines, that's right. And X does nothing. Control does nothing. Okay. Just re-familiarizing myself with the uh, Zuni controls. All right. Now earlier I saw a 150 aberrant Pariser, a Pariser Ethereum, around here, and it's gone now. So we do have Beavers still, though. Wow, you are just really heavy, aren't you? Well, I can get rid of that. There you go. Hey, you're eating. Awesome, you're going to take 20. That's not bad. Okay, 20 is doable. But uh, yeah, that should be the last of the uh, utility tames that I need right now. All right, so got our roll rat back to base finally and did one wood run. And yeah, that's just from a few trees around here. So that is going to be a huge help. Actually, let me go ahead and yeah, 3,400. Wow. Uh, let me pull like 500 wood. Get you cooking charcoal and smelting the metal up. And... Uh, do you still have a bunch of metal on you? Uh, you've got like 33. Okay. Uh, the other thing I did is I... Uh, well, I got the uh, the Dodicarus tamed up as well, right? We knew that was happening. I got three more otters tamed up, though. Uh, 140, a 150, and a 145. Um, you were only a 55, so yeah. Uh, but, uh, they all three, they're kind of not great. This one's got really good food. And a high melee, actually. High melee is good. Because the melee stat is their uh, insulation. Uh, this one's got high oxygen, which doesn't matter for otters. 3,000. Wow. But, uh, pretty decent health. And this one's got the highest weight. Of, but it's only 34. But that's not bad either. So I can combine some stats on otters and we can get a, a an ultimate otter shoulder pet, I think. And a tamed Maywing because it was stuck. <laughs> uh, it was uh, over in the beaver pond where I found the otters. There was Maywing actually stuck in some of the fallen trees in the pond and it couldn't go anywhere. So it was like it was two arrows and it was down, and I had mutton on me still, so. And 
I keep thinking that's like a nest of some kind right there. Uh, but I should be able to start making uh, some sort of base now, actually. I'm thinking maybe up there. I need a glide suit now. But uh, being up there with a glide suit would be phenomenal. I'm not too sure. I'm probably not going to use the Maywing for anything other than eggs, honestly. Maywings and Naimongs both, uh, they lay all tiers of eggs. Which, these ones have not laid a single egg yet. They've been pooping up a storm. But they haven't laid a single egg. So... Kind of unfortunate. And how are you doing? Oh, you're doing pretty good. There you go. Have some more health. But, uh, yeah. I were... We've got ourselves firmly established here on a foothold. And I love how this thing's got tail blades. I always forget about those. And it's got a blade on top of its head as well. And then, you know, all the spikes. But yeah, I always forget about the tail blades. It's like, oh, that looks cool. And then, you know, a minute later, I've completely forgotten. Uh, but yeah, uh, actually, I'm thinking up there might not be bad. Because that uh, elevator we found, the teleporter, does take us straight up there. That's why I couldn't really see any landmarks from up there. Is because I wasn't looking uh, down at the right spot. <laughs> It didn't click. It was a floating island. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning. So, But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, this is Science signing out. Have fun.